Uh, what's going on, guys? Um, today I want to give some neutral tips for M. Bison. Um, playing neutral with him can be kind of a little, a little difficult. Um, mainly because he has one distinct weakness, and that is um, his walk speed. Uh, his walk speed did get a little bit faster um, since the game's launch back in 2016. They, believe it or not, like his walk speed is actually like faster than it was at launch. Like his forward walk speed was even slower than this. You know, he has very slow walk speed. So, you know, playing the um, spacing game with him can be a little difficult as far as like, you know, like getting whiff punishes in the neutral and stuff like that. Like playing the, you know, the spacing game can be tough with him. But um, but that being said, he does have um some some advantages in neutral, uh, mainly because um he has a very far reaching normal, which is his um his down forward uh fierce um reaches very far um yeah it reaches very very far um about like right here about the max distance of like two squares he can hit the opponent. So that's very very far so that makes up for his like lack of walk speed because like he can hit characters from a range that most characters can't like you know he can hit Ryu from here but Ryu can't hit him from anywhere else like from there Ryu can't hit him with anything okay like I can hit him I can poke at him from there you know from here you know so ideally I can like just hang around this distance this is really the distance where you want to like really just want to be now uh, if you don't really know what neutral is I'll put um, a link to my neutral playlist so you can like get like a rundown of what neutral is and like how to play it and all that other stuff but this is a video for people who already know somewhat what neutral is so I'll just give like a, a basic brief thing about what you want to do as bison you want to you want to threaten with down forward fierce you know what I'm saying? You want to stay in and down forward fierce range and like threaten with it and see how the opponent reacts. That's mainly what you want to do. And hang out from like max jump distance. Okay? This is really where Bison wants to be. Alright? Now, I know you see a lot of characters hang out from this range. This is sweep range. This is mainly where you see like the dance going on. Like people inching in and out of the max range of their opponent, like trying to bait out a whiff. But Bison doesn't really want to like do that because his walk speed is so like horrendous, you know He can go forward and to get like to go backwards is going to be a challenge for him He can't get safely from a, you know, he can't he can't walk forward and safely get back to a safe distance without, you know Still being in like, you know, a threat of getting poked or getting thrown, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm gonna give it a, um, a little brief example uh, let's do this. This is why you don't want to be in this range with Bison. Okay, so I'll save my distance. This is like let's say he goes in the sweet distance, right, and tries to play the, you know, the spacing game from here, trying to get a whip, trying to bait out a whiff, right. So let's say he's like gets my right, right here. Save status, and I'm gonna have Ryu do something like this. Uh, all right. Start that. See that? He can't get out of that range. See that? Bam. He was still in throw range. But if that was Cammy, if that was Cammy or Rashid or any other type of character, he could have probably got out of the range of that throw. Or you see like, you know, because his walk speed is so slow. You know, he got out of there, but like, let's say like, you know, bam, he was still in a range. You know. You know, he can't really like get out of the range. Bam. You see that? He can't really play that game because he... And what if Ryu swept right there or like did a low forward or did like a, you know, actually did a poke because he can't really walk backwards that fast. You know, he can't really like play that game. You know what I'm saying? And try to like, you know, bait out like, you know, you know, he could do. See, look at that. He was still. See, 
Like, you know, if there was any other character, he probably could have got out of the range of that throw, but he couldn't. All right. So that's not really the range you want to be at. All right. I mean, let, let me like restart it. Uh, let's see. So I say you like from right here. This is like the main. This is like the closest you ever want to be to the opponent in neutral. Like from right right here. From like right here, you can. This is a cool distance. Like you can uh, poke them with a uh, stand uh, medium kick. Stand medium. Like I say, you eventually you're gonna be in this range. Like you can't really stay at one range the entire match. But let's say you are inside of like you know sweet distance. Like you know poke distance from a lot of characters like I say you're in this range you can you know poke them with um, stand medium kick it's pretty fast um, of course like when you poke them you can like you know get back to stand fierce range and you know threaten with that and get back it down fierce range and you know back to where you want to be but if you find yourself in this distance just jump back or just you know what I'm saying or be like right here be in their face you know, you don't want to be outside of poke range because you can't get back fast. You know what I'm saying? You either want to be in their face or a max jump distance, which is match start. You want to either be, you either want to be here or you want to be here. You don't want to be really right here. This is a danger zone for Python, really. You know, even though he has a good normal, he can like a character can just jump over it. You know. You know, it's not, you know, see, and you you got to take, you know what I'm saying, a cross up and stuff, right? So, um, mainly if you do find yourself in a range, you want to do something like, you know, like that. Like, do like a jab, you know, to bait out a dash or something. And like, quickly, if they jump, do something like that. But you don't really want to live in that distance. You want to be at max jump distance, right? So, that brings me to my next point. Um, so... Uh, this is the max distance you want to be you want to threaten with down forward fierce, you know You want to just like hang out in this distance, you know You know hang out and stand fierce distance, you know down fierce distance and threaten with these buttons. You don't want to always um, Press these buttons because they have like, you know, they're pretty slow I'll give an example for right here. So let's say you press fierce And, and they jump over it more than likely, you're gonna see. I couldn't block. It has a lot of recovery. It has 20 frames of recovery. So that's that's what happens if they jump over it. Okay. So you don't want to always like just you know press that button. You just want to like hang out in that distance and see what the opponent wants to do. You know what I'm saying? The threat of a button is like you know really the is really more important than actually the button itself. You know. So this is really one really where you want to hang. You know what I'm saying? So let's say the the character jumps. You know you you can easily answer air. You know what I'm saying? Nah. You know what I'm saying? You're hanging out in that distance, you know. That's where you want to be. Ah. Okay. So. That's, that's pretty much it as far as like the neutral, like where you actually want to be. I just want to really talk about where you want to be as Bison. Where, where you want to be in the neutral like where you want to be on screen at all times as bison you really want to hang out max jump distance really and just threaten with down four fierce and fierce okay but is there one there's one thing i want to actually like you know talk about and that is you know max jump distance okay so i'm gonna show you something so one of the most dangerous things about street fighter 5 is getting jumped in on right and taking pressure and you know what i'm saying it's not really like you know bison doesn't have any like reversals so you pretty much have to eat any pressure the opponent does to you if they jump in on you. But from this distance right here, like this is like max jump distance. Like this is like the maximum range they can jump and actually like touch you, right? Most characters is like right here. Like, you know, they can get jumped in from here. But around this distance where Bison actually wants to be on screen, the opponent can jump in on him and can't really get much. You know what I'm saying? So it's really not that, you know, um, not, it's really not that dangerous for Bison to get jumped in on from his range, right? Like the whole scary thing about getting jumped in on is taking pressure, right? Well, let's say he gets jumped in on from here. He can't get a, he can't get a grab. 
Let me uh put my shortcut settings. Alright. See from here he can't get a grab. He can't get the dash, uh, he can't get the jump grab that you know a lot of people online like to do. Right? So if they do that, like you can get a shimmy, you know, punish them for that shit, you know. Cause they're gonna have to like walk forward. Or you know what I'm saying? Let's say they walk forward and try to do it. You can just Or you can do something like this, you know, just just challenge them, you know. Right? Uh, let's see. Let's see if they try to press a button after jumping. They can't frame trap you. You can back dash. They cannot frame trap you from this distance. Like, you know, they can't hit you with a button. And you know what I'm saying? I mean, it might vary from character to character, but definitely for Ryu, he can't. He can't really frame trap you from like max jump distance. I pressed it too early. You get something like that if he tries to like, you know, really tries to like press that button. That's like the bread and butter, like, you know, frame trap for him. And let's say he tries to go for the low, try to clip you from trying to walk back. I mean, he just pushed you back. You know, that's not really a lot of damage to take. You know what I'm saying? And even from that far, he, he the, it didn't even combo. Like it's really not that it's really not that scary if you get jumped in on from this distance. You know what I'm saying? Right? Just take it. Or just, you know. You know, and you're back. You know what I'm saying? Uh let's talk about dash. Um So let's say they dash at you, right, from this distance. They would have to use like a far reaching poke to hit you. You know, and you know, you can just... You know what I'm saying? Nah, I didn't get him that time. But you get the gist of it, right? You're not really like a threat from like the dash jump shenanigans that people online like to do because you're hanging at this distance. He can't frame trap you even if he hits you with the, with the normal. Nah, I didn't block. You know? You know, now you're back. Like, can't really punish with that. You know? Ah. You know? See, this is more your range. He has to take a risk and get in getting your range. You know what I'm saying? Bam. Let's say he dashes, you know? He's taking a risk coming to your range. You know? And of course, uh, dash up throw, they won't be able to dash up throw you. So I'll show you that. Nah, let's, let's record it. Let's say he try to do something like that. From this distance, please. There's no way they're gonna reach you. You know what I'm saying? You know? Ah, you got me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's really where you wanna be. You really want to be from, like, you know, this distance, you know? Alright. So I hope that these little tips helped you out. Like, you know, you really, you're really not in danger being in this range, you know? This is really where you want to be as Bison. You know, either outside, like, from here, or, like, you know, threaten with down forward, you know, and stand fierce and just, you know, just from right here. That's where you want to be. Like around max jump distance. Okay, and I'm gonna show you a match um, where I'm pretty much um, fighting at my like you know optimal range, and I'll give you guys some examples as the match is going on. And um, all right, guys, so this is a, a recent match that I had. 
So I'm gonna go through this match and show you guys um, how you should be playing and how I was playing this match. All right, so I get the pressure there. So we're back in neutral. So I just trying to get some pressure on him, but you saw that I was at max jump distance. So right here, this is where I want to be. See how I'm hanging out? I'm right here. I should have anti-air right there, but it's, but you see right there? Let me let me show you. Let me show you. You see how I, I challenge with stand medium kick? It's right there. That's the max jump distance I was talking about. All right. Uh, let's see. You see how I'm at max jump distance right here, right here. This is where I told you this is where you want to hang out. So he, so this is where we're at. Ma I'm at max jump distance right here. Okay. You see he jumps. He jumped from max jump distance, right? I blocked it. I didn't. I wasn't ready for the anti air, right? But look, look at the distance between us when he lands. Look at the distance that that's between us. He can't get no throw from here. He barely can get a frame trap. I don't know if he can what medium punches. I don't know like what Seth's like, you know, I'm not too, you know, brushed up on Seth, but uh, he can't really do anything from this distance. I think he maybe like do a, a crouching medium punch or a crouching medium kick, but he can't get a throw. So I see, look, he, he walks up and tries to do a short and he whiffs it. And I get a, and I challenge with uh, stand medium kick. That's why I keep saying that if you get jumped in on from max jump distance, it's really not that scary. You know what I'm saying? You can actually challenge if you get jumped in from that far away. Okay. So he throws you back in the corner. Try to get some space back. I challenged him again with the scissor kick. And I just waited. See, I just waited. See, and I just waited for him. Bam, and I went back to, to I went back to where I want to be. I went back to my optimal range and I just waited. See? Went back and I just waited for him. Just waited for him. Just threatened. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's probably trying to jump. He tried to just jump. See? Just wait and see what the opponent does. Go to your optimal range and just wait to see what the opponent does. Desperate. <laughs> Alright. See? He tried, he jumped. And I was able to answer air. Okay. See, I'm just hanging out my in my distance, right? Bam, and he whiffed. See, I'm just hanging at my distance, and he whiffed. That's the advantage of Bison has in a neutral. That's one of the main advantage advantages Bison has in a neutral is that he can actually hang out at a range that most characters, like you know, what I'm saying they have to actually like walk forward. He has more range on his normals than other characters, so he can like just hang out at his range. And you know, what I'm saying characters have to actually take a risk. Like if they, and if they try to like poke, you know, what I'm saying they're gonna whiff against him. All right, and I I was able to get a crush counter. See, you see how he whiff right there. He whiffed right there, and I think he went for oh he went for a V skill or something. And he ate a crush counter. I want to go back to that. You see how like I'm at my range, like I could just press my button wherever I want to. See, I know I'm at the max distance, so I can pr safely press my button. You know what I'm saying? Had he been a little bit closer, he probably could have clipped me, but you know it is what it is. So I'm just pressuring them. See, just hang out at your at your distance, you know what I'm saying? And just see what the opponent does. You can win a lot of games. And you know what I'm saying? That was just like a quick little game. You know what I'm saying? But I hope seeing that match, you know, uh, helped you guys out. And I hope this little tutorial I had helped you guys out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.